Time now for Made in Connecticut. Well, it's the summer, that's for sure, and I think one of the best ways to beat the heat, Kara, is with ice cream. Wonderful, smooth, rich ice cream that's mm. made right here in Connecticut and has been for decades. That's right, in the town of Suffield, H.P. Hood has been churning out the ice cream for decades, and I got a behind-the-scenes tour of this incredible operation. Oh, my lips are smacking. I'm sampling some of the amazing ice cream fresh off the line here at the H.P. Hood ice cream plant in Suffield, Connecticut. I'd like you to meet Peter Fabry. He's the plant manager. Pretty impressive plant we got going on here. Yes. Hey, my first question is, who knew? Who knew this was here? Yeah, no one, nobody would ever think that there's an ice cream plant in their backyard. This plant's been here since the early 60s, so well over 50 years uh, making ice cream. It's like a city in this place. You look around like highways. Highways of stainless steel all making ice cream. This plant makes all, all the ice cream for HP Hood. All the ice cream, which is mostly made, distributed in uh, New England, the Northeast. But that's a lot of ice cream. A lot. We do about 100,000 cartons a day. 100,000 cartons of ice cream a day? Yeah. <laughs> Half a million a week. Is this a happy place to work? It's very happy. Because <laughs> ice cream makes people happy. Right. <laughs> makes me happy. What's the number one flavor that's coming out of here? Is it vanilla? Of course it's vanilla. It's always vanilla. It's always vanilla. It's the most boring flavor, but everybody likes vanilla. We make lots of different kinds of vanilla. Oh, you do? Yeah, we have hood golden vanilla. We have vanilla bean. We have a homemade vanilla. A lot of different choices in the vanilla world. But it is the number one flavor going yeah, out of here. Vanilla and then chocolate. Chocolate. Um, coffee's right up there. To make all the flavors, Peter explains there are basically five production lines. We have five lines. Make what we call a scround container, which is a uh, hybrid between a square and a round. We call it a scround, and it's uh, 48 ounces, one and a half quarts. That's what you see in the supermarket. Okay, okay that's the most popular package that you, that's out there. Uh, so we have two lines to do that. Then we have a, a 32 ounce quart line uh, where we make lactate as well as Brigham's. Brigham's is a super premium product. Um, then rivals Ben and & Jerry's and Haagen-Dazs, uh, but a much better value. Uh, we're really, that's our proudest product we have here. And then we have two ice cream sandwiches, uh, two ice cream sandwich machines. One runs a regular ice cream sandwich, and the other one runs a mini. And to see that ice cream sandwich machine in motion is fascinating. This runs two sandwiches every second. Two sandwiches every second. 100,000 sandwiches a day. There's really two parts to an ice cream sandwich, the cookie and the ice cream, okay? You put the cookie on either side of the ice cream, and it indexes down into a star wheel. The ice cream is always coming out. The sandwich is indexed into the star wheel and sandwich the ice cream in between the two wafers. When the sandwich discharges, it gets automatically wrapped in paper and sealed. And then when the sandwich comes out, we put 10, in, 10 uh, sandwiches in every box. 10 sandwiches in every box. I just want to try one or 10. But before we do, we have to learn how to eat the ice cream sandwich. What's different about an ice cream sandwich right off the line is that the, the ice cream is still soft. So if you try to eat it, go ahead and try to eat it. Kind of makes a real mess, doesn't it? <laughs> the technique I like to use is just break, break off the wafer and then scoop it like that. Very clever. So you break the wafer off. And then scoop it. There you go. That's how you do an ice cream sandwich right off the line. That's not going to help the diet, is it? No. Oh, that's good. And what's cool is that the sandwich is crispy. Over time, the moisture from the ice cream permeates into the sandwich and the sandwich ends up being, becoming soft. And that's why when you typically buy these in the store, they're it's a soft. softer sandwich. Good. But right off the line, it's, a, it's as crispy as it gets. Not only are the ice cream sandwiches made with soft ice cream, so is everything else. Everything that we make here on the production floor is soft. Is soft. The ice cream is still soft. It's, okay. it's filled as a soft serve product. 
And then from there, we have to freeze it as rapidly as possible to preserve the, the texture of the ice cream. While this maze of machinery looks very complex, all our lines are generally set up the same way. So we take regular plain ice cream mix, it goes to a flavor vat where we flavor it, from there it goes to an ice cream freezer where we transform the product from a mix to a soft serve ice cream. From there we go to an ingredient feeder to we'll add any type of inclusion. And then from there we'll go to the filler where we fill it into a package. And then from there it goes down the packaging line. And then off to a conveyor where it goes to our blast freezer. That's pretty much how everything is set up in this operation. And it's all good. It has to be because it's hood. Mm. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, true story. Yep. So it, we were sitting here. They brought us ice cream. We're like, let's just have a little bite while we watch the story. I ate mine. Sorry. Yours is already gone. In it's the gone. period of time we watched the story, yours is gone. Mine is almost gone. You really can't say no. No, you that, can't. That was really cool to see behind the scenes. Absolutely. And I yeah. gained uh, a little bit of weight, not too much. I Believe it or not, I only tried sample two things, and then I ran as fast as I could out of there so as not to eat everything in sight. I want to thank Peter for being such a gracious host, and to Lynn, who came down from corporate in Massachusetts, for helping us as well. And all of the employees, they are so nice. So a big shout out to everyone who's working there. Ice cream, you scream. We, we all, all scream, scream for ice cream! cream.